everyone, it's me Hatsy and I'm back with part 17 of the pomegranate. So, a lot happened in the first part, but that doesn't stop there because I feel like there's going to be some more drama coming up in this part because it's really the aftermath. It's when the girls have really, really fallen out. I mean, Jane is hurt. She is tense more than anything. Now, I don't know how her friendship is going with Tommy at the moment. Okay, well not going very well i mean it's gone down a lot and also with jessica they used to be good friends and now they're not and they have to share a room together this is just awkward like how is this sleeping arrangement thing gonna work i don't know we'll probably find out in a bit just because she's tired i'm guessing jessica's okay jessica's not tired a little bit strange what is peter pomegranate doing in the house we are going to just ask him to leave for a second maybe jessica would be the one just to say okay it's not a good time if you could go it would be very much appreciated i think uh if you can have an option to say goodbye i don't even know if you can force a visitor to go home you might even just have to wait it out um what if we unkindly locked him in the bathroom or something that would be an option that would definitely be an option Okay, well, maybe he'll just be around the house. Dylan probably wouldn't like it, but then again, Dylan's asleep. So I guess it doesn't really matter. But yeah, that's going on. So yeah, a lot happened with Jessica and Jane. And I, I just think it's such a shame that they've fallen out. But it was going to happen. Like, it's been going on for, I think, a few parts where Tommy's been unfaithful to Jane. And that's not okay. Like, that's, that's not fine. And I didn't want him to get away with it. So I thought... Why not just bring a little awareness to what's going on so everyone can find out a bit more about their relationship. I thought it was a pretty good idea. Okay, well, I think this is maybe a really bad time to start the LP just because it's at night time. So we're actually going to fast forward it because nothing good happens at night. And Pilar gets home from work really, really late as well. So she gets home about 2 a.m. And I think that when she does, I want her to actually sit down with Peter and have a chat because she hasn't done that yet. And he is her husband as much as she probably wouldn't like it. She still has to speak to him. But yeah, we will find out soon enough. And I think for these two, for Jessica and Jane, it's a little bit awkward. I like how Jessica just stirs things up with the dad. She really does. And I think that she knew him before everyone else did. I don't know. She loves drama. Okay, so Pilar is actually back. So it would be a good idea for her to sit down with Peter and uh, speak to him. Because not going so well. Have to say, in fact, no, why would she give him a heartfelt compliment? She wouldn't. Okay, Peter, stop walking off. Right, what we're going to do is maybe we would call him over, um, ask him to hang out. Because why else would he be hanging around the house at 3am? Maybe it's because he's got nowhere else to be. That's so sad. I hope he's not just sleeping on like a park bench or something. I would feel really bad just because he's got back from the alien world and he's had nowhere to stay. Like as far as I know, he's got no house. He's got no family. It's going pretty badly for Peter. But yeah, so, okay, what would Jessica do in this situation? Well, maybe now she's sort of, I guess, achieved her goal with Tommy. Maybe she would try and flirt with someone else. As awful as that sounds, I think that's just the character that Jessica Portray is. So maybe because she's not tired or anything, maybe, oh, she could have a club gathering. We haven't done that in a while. Um, well, I guess they're coming around to the house then. But then again, I don't think Pilar minds too much because so many people just turn up at this house. Okay, well, Peter's going home. So maybe they'll have a chat in a bit then because I don't think that went too well. Okay, so Pilar's actually intimidated that Jessica's full round her people that is just because though they have so many club points that i think that if you get to a certain point where you have enough then you can get um some really cool things so as far as i remember we did actually throw someone out the club and it was pretty unjustified there was no reason for them to actually leave apart from the fact that i just wanted an extra place and they were filling it which is actually quite nasty so or maybe i'll invite them back i don't know because i don't think i gave them a fair enough reason to leave the club Okay, so yeah, anyway, Jessica would be around to club mates at the moment. I'm surprised that Blondie and Kirsten have turned up because I don't think she's on good terms with them. She did have romantic interactions with all of them. Maybe she would just want to feel comforted because she doesn't really have many people around her at the moment or she feels like she doesn't have many people around her that care about her. So it would actually be quite nice to get the people around from the gothic nightmare see what are these secret handshakes when did they arrive i have absolutely no idea okay so we have 147 club perks that's a really awkward number so i don't think we could buy anything with that but oh flirty club vibe that would that would stir things up 
Seeing as Jessica Portray is a flirty person and she is the leader of the group. Now I do feel like after the fakes find out about what's happened, and I think they of course will because Jane will tell them, then maybe they would actually want to get some revenge on Jessica, which would be pretty interesting. Okay, this isn't going very well <laughs> at all. So she does not, oh my gosh, what's happened? Why does she not like these people? I honestly don't know. So she's just been introduced to them and she automatically dislikes them. And all she's done, seriously, all she's done is say hello and <laughs> three people hate her. I don't know why this is happening. Maybe it's because it has like a negative impression if you're in the group. Maybe that's a glitch for The Sims 4. I'm honestly not sure, but that's sort of bad because this club's falling apart already. And I don't think we've had like a real club gathering for a while, so that's kind of sad. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Pilar out again and she's gonna talk to her husband. just arrived at Tasman's house and the reason why Jane has come to Tasman's house and actually called a club gathering I can't do that well Jane can't do it because we don't have the ability to because Jane isn't the leader of the club but I did invite them over so yeah there is going to be a club gathering here because Jane is going to announce with friends what's happened and Tasman's probably going to react in a negative way to that so I think that what Tasman will probably want to do is she'll probably want to get revenge on Jessica because she's never really liked Jessica. She hates the gothic nightmares or any sort of club like that, like a rebellious group. So yeah, she would be completely up for some revenge. And I honestly feel like the girls would be maybe a little bit annoyed at the fact that Jessica has done this to Jane and also the fact that Jessica does have to live with Jane because Jane would not want to live with Jessica anymore. I should have probably explained that like in the first part of the Let's Play, but no, she seriously, seriously wouldn't. And the only reason why she would be forced to is because Pilar would not want to throw Jessica out the house just for some teen drama. Like she just wouldn't do that because having somewhere to live is just so, so much more important than that. And if she feels like Jessica doesn't have a place to live, otherwise then yeah, it's not a good idea. So as much as Jane would want to make Jessica leave the house, she wouldn't be able to. So Tasma is probably plotting some terrible revenge right now. We will definitely find out at the end what will happen here. So yeah, that's what we're gonna say. <laughs> we're just gonna say that Tasman is looking up some really important stuff online, maybe some background information about Jessica. That's the biggest hint I can give because I've sort of got a plot where this is going and I'm really excited to share it. But I really like the idea that these girls have started to build up their friendship with each other. So now, Jane is quite a good friend of Amy. Okay, they're not that good. <laughs> but to be fair, she didn't even know her a few episodes ago. So it's, it's came quite far. Like, they, they've come a long way, these two. Now, I am wondering where Courtney is. She is not there. That's the mum. I can't believe it. I honestly can't get over it. She looks exactly like Tasman. It just, it frightens me a bit. Just because they just look so, so similar. And I think she's a young adult, which would get really strange, especially when these girls do age up which by the way will be happening so so soon i think within the next like few parts and stuff that will be happening um, maybe the next part actually i'll get them to age up just because i think the whole series is going to end on part 20 just because i think that's a nice number so we will see what happens that well that's too late then because i've already invited over i don't know maybe i just subconsciously wanted jane to see miles just because he was really really nice to her and i just think that he would be a great friend for her maybe in the future when she does get over tommy they can have 
a budding relationship together. I don't know. But if you don't know who Miles is, he's basically a character from a very, very early episode. And a lot of people are saying, oh, you should get those two together because they look so much more suited than her and Tommy. And I think a lot of people are having doubts about Tommy really early on. So yeah, maybe Jane would just want to invite around Miles just because they got on so well. And he did comfort her as well. Like in the first part, I really liked that. And I just think they would have a great friendship together. They get on, I think, <laughs> a little bit. I mean, not much, <laughs> um, but I think it'll be good. So we just gotta see. Okay, so they are in here. I love this area. I think it's so nice. They all sit down together. That's something that I really like about The Sims. I just feel like when the groups meet, you can all get them in one room. I honestly can't remember how I coped without having this come here all together option, like with the diamonds on the head and stuff. I have no idea how that used to work. Jane is also missing school, so we are going to have to get her to go to school really soon. I don't think that the other girls need to go, and I think that is because they have just became young adults. So Jane will be the last one to age up, probably. And also Jessica, because Jessica's still got to age up. She still lives with the household. The girls have decided to sit outside, and I think they're having a barbecue, which is quite nice. It's quite good. Miles has not turned up, so he is the no-show. However, he may turn up later. We've just got to see what happens. Also... I don't think I've ever said how much I dislike this house in this location. It just looks so strange being a Tudor house on the edge. I would have changed that if I could have, but unfortunately the other plot was taken because the other plot has Tommy's house on. But yeah, there we go. So the girls are having so much fun here. I love the fact that they are, I guess, getting closer together and they're probably plotting their revenge. There's probably gonna be some terrible, terrible plans coming up in the future because Tasmin is not a nice person. I've said this throughout the series, she's not. I mean, she appears to be very, very nice with friends and I think that she would be. She would be really nice to Jane because she's in the group and she's one of them, or at least that's how she considers her, but to anybody that isn't in the group, she would be absolutely horrible. So <laughs> that is what I'm going with for Tasmin. So I think it's gonna get interesting to see what she plots for the revenge for Jessica and yeah hopefully it'll be pretty good jane is pretty late for school so i'm actually going to get her to go because i know that she's probably only got like one day left of it but it's still a nice idea just to make sure that uh, she sticks to the rules i guess because skiving isn't good and i don't think the girls have attended school much in this whole series <laughs> honestly they haven't they hardly ever go to school so it's actually quite nice for a change to make her go and yeah i mean homework will never happen let's face it but she could at least attend it but anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this part here and I will speak to you all in the next part. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas for the next part, then let me know in the comments below and I will speak to you all soon.